Hey everybody, it's Tasha the Snow Wolf, and welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. And I bet you guys are wondering, why am I back in Fnac City? Well, remember when I said that Jesse will only battle us when we have six Pokemon? Well, today's the day we get to we go battle. So, we are going to battle... We are gonna battle up to five trainers and then we get to battle Justy. I know you guys think that Justy is a really funny name for a guy, especially. I thought it, it was a funny name too, as well, because he looks like a girl in a way. But his name sounds like a girl in a way too. These trainers are very premature, so you can use Shadow Pokemon if you want to. I'm only using, um,. Oh, I don't even know why I'm using Bayleaf right now. I don't know why. I should be using either Flaffy or Noctowl, but I'm gonna switch out and use Flaffy right now, cause I just prefer Flaffy. No, wait, no, not Flaffy, but um, I think I'll switch out and use Slugma for once. Maybe it might actually work better. Ow. But it might actually work better though. I want to see what Slugma can do anyway, especially since I haven't used him a while ago, and it's really important that I show you guys what he can do. Because I really like Slugma a lot. I know it's, um, I know you're thinking, why? Why Slugma? He's so weak. He is, he is bad in all areas, especially evolving him is all bad, bad in every area because he's weak to is three times its weakness to water. Three, three times weakness to really pretty much everything. But he has a double, doubling chance against grass types. But it's just not really. I know some of you guys thinking he's not really worth the time and effort to be using. But if you really gave him a chance, gave him a chance, and actually gave him some good moves can actually be a great Pokemon to have. Especially since you don't get to see much much of uh, grass type Pokemons around this area. So I really recommend that you use them while you can. Because pretty soon you won't even be able to get him in a battle because they'll be either a water type or some other types. Yes, I'm going to keep chugging along. And you can even stop during the battles and go heal up. But since I already healed up off screen just a moment ago, and I went back to Outskirts City to get more Pokeballs, and I went to Fanatic City to heal up here, and then talk to the mayor about the investigation, how it's going. And I just remembered about this place. I just remembered that I could come back here and battle Justy now that you have six Pokemon. And you can only battle him if you have six. It's pretty un um, it's pretty strange that you would only want you to have six Pokemon when you can clearly battle him even having three or four. But I really like it this way. It's way better. And I'm going to switch out Espeon with Flaffy right now because Flaffy needs the amount of energy to actually battle. And one time in a really other, and in another unsaved, unsaved piece, Flaffy actually, um, Flaffy actually, um, was uncontrollable in its hyper, hyper mode. And I didn't know at the time that you, if you call its name, it will come out of its hyper mode. It ended up jumping back into its Pokeball without me telling it to. I was so mad that right after I picked a different Pokemon to send back out, I immediately switched back to I immediately switched back to Flappy. Because I was like pissed off. And we were during a good important battle. And I really needed him at the time. So it was really so I was really mad about it as well. Oh, and see, there goes Flappy again with the hyper mode. It's pretty dangerous to have two Shadow Pokemons that Pokemon out on the field at once, because sometimes they will, uh, sometimes they will 
people get pretty pissed off and sometimes end up going at the hyper mode together. Because it's happened to me at least twice. It's really, um, it's really finicky. So I really hate it sometimes. But I have, but you gotta live with it if you want to enjoy your favorite game. Because I really like this game. This game's really a lot of fun. It's <laughs> challenging in some ways, but it's really fun. And I'm really glad about the Pokemon options they have here. It's really awesome. <laughs> I know it's strange that I'm using, still using um, Razor Leaf on, on these Pokemon, but it's just common for me to do that, like that. Well, it's very easy for me to do. Well, there goes the second trainer. There's like two others, and then we get to battle Justy. I really wanted to show this to you guys before we got started on the on that base thing over there in Pirates Pirate Town. I just really wanted to show you guys this because this is really fun. Even though I lost to Justy once, I just really wanted to show you guys and see if I could actually beat him this time. These guys are all listed in my note, in my, um, in my, um, game guide. Swinub is a very easy Pokemon to beat, being part ice and part ground, it is weak against fighting type moves. But since I don't have Makuita right now, I am just gonna settle for using Body Slam on it. And I'll have Espeon use Swift, I guess. I don't know if it actually works on Japan. Yeah, it does a little. I'm just unsure right now because I'm a little bit eh, preoccupied at the moment. I'm just a little sleepy lately. I didn't get much too much sleep last night. It's been most of the night out underneath the blanket and stuff. So I really wasn't in the mood that much to do much. I was really hot, hot last night. I may, after this battle, run over to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then switch Espeon with Umbreon, so that way Umbreon can be leveled up two more levels, and then he, and then get into level to to the 30s on its level. Cause I at least want it in its 30s, because in my old, oh, in my very first play gaming of it. Umbreon actually got up to level uh, 34 at least. You can actually ask, ask him to to, re to start from where you left off at. It's a very good thing. It's good in so many ways because if you want to take a break and um, go heal up for a minute. It's very helpful. I did it before when my Pokemon were weak and I healed up a bit. So since now I'm going to be doing this for like a second. Oh and there's the M I caught from the last episode. From the last part. From the last part, I got this Yanma. Well, some of you guys may remember it. I've got two female. I got, wait, let me see. One, two, four female Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight male Pokemon and four female Pokemon. Yeah, that's how that's how screwy this game is with you. It's really rude in so many ways. Sigma still has the least amount. Oh, I don't even remember using Mistrevious in battle really. Of course I think I did, but I don't really remember it well. 
Bailey's about to get out of its get out of its um, thing. Then I'll be able to. I'm trying to finish off Bailey right now, so I can put Skiplum in there because I really don't feel comfortable with two grass types in in my team. That's why I'm not doing Skiplum right now, or like have it in my team for a later day. I'm waiting to do it once I get Bayleaf out of my team because it just ain't fair having two grass types in in your team like that. Just like I don't feel comfortable having if I had like Quagsire and Croconaw on my team, I don't feel comfortable with like that. And having Quilava and Slugma on, on my team as well. It's very annoying sometimes that you gotta pick your options. Oh, I got one more trainer left to battle, then I'll get to battle Justine. This person is pretty easy as well. Wait, I forgot what her what her Pokemon were anyway. Ugh. Oh, hers were Rhydon and Chiodo. So hers are easy. Hers are easier, then you get to battle the gym leader, Justy. And it costs me a battle. Oh, wait. Mm. What's the thing? Oh. You yeah. have three trainers and then one. And then you have that person who's standing right outside the battlefield. Ugh. Oh, Bailey's already down out of its thing. But I have to keep it in till I get it. Till I, after I beat Justy. Ooh, one hit. That's how good it is to have a grass type. Ooh, one hit again. Wow, I'm pretty gonna even need an attack. That was good. Okay, let me check and see what Pokemon Justy has. Justy has Sand, Sand, True, Cacnea, Gligar, Azumarill, Sunflora, and Nose Pass. So that's a very big combination of Pokemon, especially since all of his Pokemon are, are 40 and up. Are between 40 and 43. Yeah, so he's gonna be kind of hard to beat, especially since all of my Pokemon are at level 30. Oh, and he gives you a team, a, oh, white herb. I just remembered that. Yes, Justy, fine. Fine, Justy, I will give you a stupid battle. See, he even looks like a girl. His hair color looks like a girl, damn it. Oh, and he brings out Azumarill and Sandshrew. Good thing I put Bailey as my Bayleaf as my first. That way, Bayleaf can take out both of them using using Razor Leaf. And Brian can just use Bite. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. Bam! Nice hit. Whoa, that, that didn't even do much, damn it! God, and Sentry is much higher than Azumarill, damn! Of course, Azum Azumarill is very strong. It's big, it's a big wall. Oh, stupid. Oh, this is why I really hate Sandshrew. He knows stupid, stupid, stupid sandstorm. That's really bad. Light screen raised its special defense. Oh, no. Oh, I hate you so much, Azumarill. I am gonna take you down first. 
because Azumarill is like a big, great big wall of stats. That's bad. Oh, at least Azumarill is taking damage from it. Ooh, Bailey's getting good damage on that, and so is Umbreon. But still, this is gonna be a long one because this battle takes forever. And I really need to beat that stupid Azumarill. Because Azumarill knows a bunch of stat moves. Like, its evasiveness will go up, and so. And so will its defense if we don't take it down now. Ah, uh, Umbreon to attack Mist, damn it. And that's also one of the things. Most of his Pokemon just know stat moves that raises them. Ooh, at least it's getting most of that damage. If I could get if I could get it confused, that would be even better, but too bad Umbreon. Uh, is a level too low to learn Confuse Ray. Oh no, Zimmeril knows that move. Whoa! That caused too much damage for Bayleaf. Oh man! You gotta be kidding me! Damn it! Ugh! See what I mean about how annoying his Pokemon are? Maybe I should have waited until after a gate village and showed you guys this later, so it would have been much more better to show you guys this. Oh no, Bayleaf! Oh, damn it. I'll send Mistrevious out and just show you guys what she can do. What he can do, damn it. God, I hate, I hate it being a boy because Mistrevious has always been my favorite. Oh, damn, the sandstorm subsided. Oh, Confuse Ray. I forgot. Oh no, not that thing. Ugh. Come on, Umbreon. I hate Azumarill so much. Oh, and there it goes again. Another sandstorm. Ugh. Whoa, there it goes again. Azumarill's still taking damage from it, which is good. Oh, I wish it was stronger, damn it. It's not good when it's not that strong. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Umbreon. Umbreon, you can handle it. Ugh, I almost got him. Uh-oh. Oh no, not that move. I hate that move. Damn you, dude. Come on, Umbreon. Oh, finally got him. Thank God that Pokemon takes forever to knock out. And damn, I'm already at the 20 minute lineup. I may have to stop this short and then show you guys the second half of it. 
Cause this ain't fair. I'm losing like bad. If I end up losing at this, guys, I'm gonna end up showing you the rest of this battle later. It's after a gate village and mount battle. There goes Mistrevious' power now. Tart gauge is going lower. Oh, almost so close, damn it. At least it flinched. Thank God it flinched this time. Cause this is just so annoying, oh my God. Oh, I'm bringing on so weak. Uh-oh, Mistrevious is doing it again. Uh-oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. He dug a hole. This is just great. I'm screwed. That's just great. There goes Mistrevious now. Come on, Umbreon. Oh, I'm gonna have to end this off right here in a second. Yeah. I'll see you guys in just a moment.